What tender and juicy drama is going on at your school workplace? We have been noticing small mysterious changes over the last month in our office. A square of brand new carpet being torn up and replaced in a hallway. The runner in front of the cafeteria disappeared and a few weeks later we got a brand new one. Parts of the hallways have been strangely roped off. We also just had security cameras installed in all of the walkways. The situation was finally brought up and discussed in a private meeting. An employee has been pooping randomly throughout the building during business hours. These have been rather large piles of poop that people have narrowly missed stepping in. This is a very professional workplace which makes this entire situation all the more perplexing. This person is still on the loose and it could be anyone. TL. Doctor our office is currently plagued with a mystery pooper. There's a mouse in the coffee room hiding under the fridge that the secretary has named Frederick. I saw him this morning. We aren't bros or anything but I don't hate him. Edit. Jesus Frederick. My English teacher is really lazy and didn't feel like grading these papers we wrote but final grades were due so he decided to just not read any of them and give everybody in the whole senior class varying levels of C's. Students aren't pleased with him. A woman at my work is lying about having cancer. She comes up with new sicknesses and calls out all the time. She told us she's pregnant with twins and sent us an ultrasound picture. We searched pregnant twins ultrasound on Google and it was on the first page. It goes so much deeper than this too. She would send pictures of herself dead on the hospital table from the nurse, using her phone, to my direct manager. We don't know what to do. Our bosses are telling us to fire her, but we can't. Every time she calls out she has a doctor's note. One of my dogs is sleeping in his kennel. The other in his bed in the living room. They always sleep next to each other. I wonder what's going on. I work from home. Edit my most upvoted comment is about my dogs. And that's awesome. Cops came in looking for one of our co-workers. Nobody is friends with him so we have no way to know what's going on. Assumptions are running wild right now. Edit. All of your ideas are way more exciting than ours. We were thinking like, family emergency, but I like underground fight club better. I'm gonna throw that one out tomorrow and see if anyone bites. A math cheating ring got busted. They had several group texts set up and one person would get answers from one group and spread it to the others. They're looking at suspending and failing something like 50 people. In their senior year too. I'm taking a month off before starting a new job. Being home more has opened my eyes to just how frequently our neighbors fight loudly with the windows open. And how bad the woman in the couple is at faking her orgasm. Recently, everyone taking AP economics at my high school answered her on every question of a multiple choice test to get a curve that gave each of them a 100%. Lawful evil am I right? Predictably. Administration cancelled the test. Both classes received lectures about work ethic instead of economics the next day. Edit. Chaotic. Edit. Okay fine back to lawful evil. Make up your minds already. That takes some dedicated commitment. It just takes one person to not do it and make an to duck it all up. One of the two attractive girls at my 500 person construction company went on a hot date with a guy from work and has started sleeping with him but she won't tell anyone who. Three different people have told me the gossip this morning and speculation is flying. It's me. I'm sleeping with the chick from HR. Since this got popular, I'll admit this was about 6 months ago and there is an ending. Especially we ended very after she got mad at me for things I still disagree on worth getting mad about. Sex in fact. We both realized we weren't 100% into each other and just liked the idea of a relationship. So we stayed friends, slept together a couple more times, and I left the company for unrelated reasons. I probably wouldn't try it again personally, I've already scoped out my new HR chicks and wasn't interested, but my cousin is engaged to his former secretary and she's just lovely, so there's hope yet. So, to set the scene. I will fake name the characters at the outset. 
My boss is Megan. Her husband is Daniel and my colleague is Melissa. So this all started about 18 months ago. Me, Megan, Daniel and Melissa all work in the same department. However Daniel works in a different team because Megan can't be his boss. Anyway, we're all going for a team night out, curry, karaoke, blah blah. But Megan can't make it. So me, Daniel and Melissa all go for the curry, along with a couple of others. Come Monday morning, Megan calls me into a meeting, crying her eyes out because she's convinced Melissa and Daniel slept together on the night out. She's absolutely hysterical so I agree to ask Melissa as we're pretty close. I ask Melissa, who also hysterically cries, telling me that Megan is using her power as her boss to push her out of the company and begs me to believe that she didn't sleep with Dan. I trust her, I mean. We've known each other for a long time. Dan also promises me nothing happened. However Meg and Dan's marriage suffered as a result of all the drama. Months go by. Megan becomes really strange. Starts following Melissa to the bathroom. Trying to listen to her recorded calls and access her emails. I tell her that she can't use her position like this. And we do this weekly routine where she cries. Promises me she won't do it again. And she does it again the next week. Anyway. It gets to a point where Melissa can't cope and she resigns. Megan walks around all triumphantly. Dan seems to reconcile with his wife. And they start trying for a baby. Last night. Melissa posts a picture of an ultrasound. Clearly stating that it is hers and Daniel's baby. Turns out they'd been sleeping together for two years. Six months of which was prior to their wedding. And she'd lied to me the whole time. Megan is obviously devastated, walking around like a ghost of herself. Daniel thinks it's the funniest thing ever, now lives with Melissa and is expecting a child on his anniversary date with Megan, which also happens to be Meg's due date with Dan's child. Edit. Used fake names because I didn't realize how frustrating that ABC thing was. Edit 2. Wow. Kind of shocked to see how this blow up. Going to bed now, live in UK. But we'll try to answer any further cues tomorrow morning. My supervisor got arrested for sex abuse. There hasn't been a conviction but he's been in jail for 2-3 weeks. Doesn't look good for him. Well. I am pretty sure my CEO has been stealing money from our company. I am a textile designer and we have factories in India and China. No one wants to ship our product because they haven't been paid. Personally I haven't gotten a raise in 3 years. All the while the CEO is driving a Bentley and just purchased a new $2 plus million dollar home. He is constantly getting angry calls from our factories who some he owes millions of dollars to, 7 mil to 1 in particular, and I am pretty sure if he went to China he would be legally detained bc of how much he owes people. A lot of which fly to our office here in the states and wait for him for meetings. And he ducks out the back door like a coward. One day he even drove an old truck to work so no one would know he was here. It's with my ex co-workers and my barmates. They've all been sleeping with each other. And the drama has started to build. Jealousy and other bullet. What used to be a carefree fun zone has turned into people avoiding each other. Getting into stupid pissing matches. ETC. I don't want nothing to do with any of that it. At some point it's going to blow up and rather be as far away from it as possible when that happens.